That's two now today, another dry row after having a lamb. And she's literally just born out, eh? Yeah, the navel is still wet. So we're just gonna carry down all down home. And put them into good grass. Yeah. Trying to load her into the Jeep here now. Hopefully she'll jump up there now. Oh! -ho. Put in the locking mechanism there. Show, show the people how do you lock that now. Power locked in so she can't, she can't go. Mighty technique when you're on your own. Just lock the horns into the bars. So she can't go anywhere. Lassie, 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 Good afternoon. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do the rounds. Um, great start to the morning this morning. My father is actually spreading fertilizer below there. Somewhere, if you can see him, there he is. So, hopefully, the quiet will stay on four wheels. Um, but um, I'm just doing the rounds there and there, checking all the fields, seeing if there's any lambs, cotton wire turned upside down that are lacking, that the mother hasn't dried up in milk or mastitis or anything sheep cotton wire and for lambs with scald or giant tail so every day there's always something so i'll just bring you along today and show you what happens on my rounds on an average day so stay tuned super day now today the sun is just coming through with the clothes but when it comes through there is serious heat there um the fields are a lot emptier than they were there's a lot of them going out the hill, but um, see this girl here, uh, she's the harness still on. One thing I learned from last year is, um, that, is that if a sheep prolapses over the last maybe two years, we didn't bother putting the prolapse back on. And we had a lot of cases last year where the sheep actually prolapsed after lambing, sometimes even up to two or three weeks after. So. What we did this year is we bought like 20 or 30 harnesses so we had plenty of them. So we left them on the yo. So when she lambed, if we took it off her, it'd go straight back on her and we're gonna take it off her whenever. It's probably gonna be on her till the middle of summer. So um look if it saves the yo from putting out the prolapses it's well worth it. But um yeah, so any yo that we've put out so far this year, the prolapse already with the harness, we um have had no issue whereas other years we'd have probably seven or eight after lambing so it um it pays for itself which is great so this yo here now she's going absolutely crazy she's two lambs because i recognize her and i don't know where her lambs are i've been a while now looking for them and i can't see them nowhere so the only thing is they might be going out the hill and she might have came down so they could be up there anywhere so I'm just hoping she'll find them some stage today. I'll just come back over here later, hoping um, she'll have them found. Three hours later, she's after finding the lambs wherever they were. And she's back in the same spot. So maybe the lambs wouldn't get anything up the hill. But um, yeah, she has them in there, which is great. So more problems here. Here we have a lamb, joint hill. 
I'm nearly certain I'd say. Back right leg, hold it up. Looks to be in a lot of pain, so I'm gonna have to catch him or her. And I'll try bring the bring the mother and the other lamb down as well, don't home. So to treat him. You usually have to treat him for up to seven days. So the ones we've got already, and we've got a good few this year, they all have came out of it, which is great. So um because to catch a lamb he like to catch him for seven days, like once after, after the second injection, they'll be coming fairly good. That's absolutely impossible to catch him after that. So it's better off to bring him down around the house in a smaller paddock where you can um, catch him. So I caught both the lambs and she's just absolutely wild. She took off up to the top field. So I just had to leave, leave them go again. Um, what, a, what an absolute... Oh. Um, she's trying to go up again here now, so I had to call the father. He's bring the quad up, so I'm gonna have to maybe hunt her down here, and or else I'll try to catch her. It's just tough to bring in wild yaws; they're just mental. Right, she's gone through. She's gonna for that one, so she's a field closer to the house now. Yeah. So I'm after catching the lamb, and help is after arriving. So my father's just trying to get her here now. There she is now. Down through the next field. So oh, slow work like. The plan was to get out that gate. Oh my gosh, she would grind your gears, I tell you. Oh, we have her, I think. Oh jeez. Charlie go on. Ha ha! Go on, ha Go on, shut up. Oh my god, what a bitch. So we got them inside in there and I'm gonna keep them in now for a few days because it's just a lot easier to give her a bit of hay and nuts inside here and I have these hurls up these gates so so they can't break out which is grand an easy way to catch them. Um, so this is the same as Beta Max, Alpha Max. Max is still in the same ingredients. So I gave them two a mil in that, just go in strong at the start to fight the infection. And is it red? How do we ruin a camera or something? <laughs> same as Recacam, but um, it's a pain reliever. And I gave them one a mil of that. So I'll give him another injection now in two days and give him the pain reliever again tomorrow. So hopefully, He'll be out right in a couple of days. He should. These two have worked for us now on all the lambs we've given so far. Um, you just need to finish out the course of antibiotics for about seven days, and they should be good then. Quiet, pull in on quiet. So the quads have to give you up there, and we'll just carry it back now today for um, service and get it checked out and to check what's wrong with it, so we didn't have time all along as we were flat out with lambing, so we carried over now today had to stop off here in Tesco as well to give it a wash because it was fairly dirty, so got turned away last time when I brought the quad over because it was so dirty, so I have to make sure it's clean every time now another example of lambs being stupid he freed himself that it's only because I was here. If I wasn't, he'd probably be stuck for. He could be stuck here for ages. Silly lambs. So I'm carrying some col yaws today to Kinmare Mark. These would have been yaws that would have had mastitis, that threw away lambs, that um, they had no milk. So there was that there was something wrong with them. They might have prolapsed. They couldn't. They couldn't rear lambs. So. I'm going to carry them into Khmer Mark today, just go over their numbers now and write it into the dispatch book and carry them in the trailer. All ready to go to the mark now with these cull yaws. So into Khmer Mark and going. Um, evening sale now this week, so nearly five o'clock now, so it's grand and handy. So there was no panic to get them done. So I had the f dispatch book filled out there now and I have three different groups, I have just 20 yaws in total. I just separate them between the Suffolk Cheviots and the Scotch 
and so yeah I don't think I'm gonna get rich out of them but um, better to sell them in there because they're not going to be breeding uh, for me next year so they're better off be gone than eating good grass now for the oars and lambs there is first day at the mark look at all the sheep big old big actually throw the sheep here for for early on the year Derek come here Derek good helper with me here today Derek come here Derek thumbs up thumbs up give me the sticker big help today Derek has helped me here at the mark putting on the stickers and all the oars well done Derek well done Derek well done